Uh, all right, time to start the day with another commentary. Uh. Oh, uh, hey, Bob. Hey, Bob, what's up? Hey, Bob, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Wow, you guys look nice. Thanks, we just got our new paint jobs. Yup, how you like it? Wow, they, they look incredible. Uh, all right, well, good luck in the races, guys. Oh, thanks, sir. See ya. Bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> He's so forgetful. Ah, well, if it isn't my favorite partner. How you doing, Bob? Listen, Daryl, I appreciate the help, but I just really want to be alone. Well, what's the matter? Tell me. Come on. You know you can trust me. Listen, it's just that the racing patients that they have, you know, they look so vibrant and nice, and I have nothing. I just have a plain black paint job, and that's boring. It doesn't captivate anyone. It captivates me. I mean, even then, a racer's paint job? Come on. I mean, look at how it looks on me. It doesn't look nice, right? Actually, it looks really nice. Aw, oh, well, thank you, but that's not my point. The point is that you don't need a racist paint job to look nice. What you need is your own type of paint job. And I think the one that suits you is kind of like a media look, like a reporter. And I know just the perfect person to help you on that. Shannon! <laughs> oh, uh, hi, Bob. Oh, uh, hey, Shannon. I've met you before, I think. Yes, all right. Time for an upgrade. Come over here. Oh, uh, okay. That's easier than I thought. Well, I guess I got that solved. Now time to wait. Alright, you're back. Alright, give me the good news. Well, the good news is that he chose a really nice design for his new look. So introducing the brand new Bob Cutlass. Ooh. Huh. I feel very, very upgraded. What do you think, Daryl? It could have been better. What? Say what? What'd you say? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you so much, Shannon, for all the help. No problem. All right, now time to show off your new paint job to the racers. Come on. Oh, wow. So that's why I was all like, whoa, right? Dang, that's crazy, Dirksen. Yeah, I know. Hey, you guys got a minute? I want to show you something. Oh, uh, what is it, Shannon? Yeah, hurry up. We actually have something to do. Uh, Bob, wh what'd you do? Yeah, man, primer is not a good look for you. Wait, what? I I'm not primed. This is this is my new paint job. It looks old, man. Yeah, you're trying way too hard. Your old design was better. Wait, Shannon, I thought it was a good design. It is a good design. I don't get what they're talking about. No, he looks like he's in prime, man. Yeah. Honestly, it'd be better if you changed back. Sorry, man. Yeah, alright, I gotta go. See you, dude. Don't want it to be awkward. Uh, Shannon, are they saying the truth? Is my paint job ugly? But I mean, no, I, I I didn't mean like that. I mean, I mean uh, it, it looks nice on you. I mean, you think it looks nice, but I don't really think it looks nice. But I mean, hey, no, you approve of this. You have to like it. No, but I I, I kind of do. I I don't know. She means it's hot garbage. Uh, what? Hey, uh, no, he's right. Uh, shut up, Daryl. Sorry, just say the truth. See ya. <laughs> uh, no, I, I didn't mean it. No, it's okay. I'll just. Walk this road for a while and just stay like this, I guess. I mean, I do like it, so I don't care what other people say. I'll just do me, right? I guess. All right, well, thanks, Shannon. And all right, I guess I'll be off. <clears throat> Dang it, Daryl, why did you say that? I mean, I don't like the paint job, but still, that's kind of rude. Well, you should have thought that before you made him change the paint job, all right? And why do you have floating powers? Because reasons. Hey guys, what is up? This is Araki here back again with Nerdy Cast Review, and this time I'm gonna be reviewing Cars 3 Bob Cutlass, the Cars 3 version of our beloved announcer, and of course, one of the latest cars to be released in the 2019 diecast line. Bob, of course, is a very iconic announcer from the RSN news station, typically being paired up with Daryl Cartrip to sport some commentary over some Piston Cup races. He and Daryl Cartrip have appeared a numerous amount of times throughout the Cars films. However, actually, Bob didn't appear in Cars 2, but Daryl did, so that was kind of weird, but that was because there was a World Grand Prix going on and other stuff apart from that. Since Daryl got an additional variation in Cars 2, that being him with his headset, I'm guessing it's just as fair to have Bob get a complete redesign in Cars 3. Obviously, since Bob and Daryl are commentators, they did have some speaking lines in the movie, and most racing scenes did revolve around their commentary, such as when they were commenting about the next-gen takeover or about Rusty's Cruiser Ramirez 
passing through the next gens during the Florida 500 race. And then of course, I do need to also talk about his transition to Thailand, which honestly isn't too bad. I just need to pick up the package right here. Let me use that right now. And as you can see, he doesn't have any eye plate right there. However, he is completely different from his Cars 1 version, as you can see right here. This one's definitely a lot darker than this one right here. It looks more gray, kind of resembling the one from the artwork, but... I don't know, let's just get into the packaging and then we'll see how we do from there. Here's the Cars 3 Bob artwork and as you can see, he does have a little RSN tag which is a part of his new redesign and then he has like a really nice silver coat of paint around him which looks pretty cool. As mentioned previously, here is Cars 3 Bob in the package and he doesn't look quite the best. I think what Thailand tried to do is that they try to take the gray, um, I don't know, gray paint job that they put onto him to mimic the silver paint job on the actual Bob which didn't turn out looking too well. What's worse is that Thailand didn't even bother to change his name tag and just left it as Bob Cutlass, not like Cars 3 Bob Cutlass, but just Bob Cutlass. So it can easily be mistaken by a random person to be this regular Bob Cutlass when really it actually is the Cars 3 to redesign. Anyways, here is the Disney Pixar Cars logo for 2018 slash 2019 Cars diecast. Since Cars 3 Bob and Natalie Saren are in the series, I'm guessing that the RSN series is now dead and all the RSN cars will now move to the Florida 500 series. On the back, you can see a nice opening shot of the Florida 500 and then the bio reads is the opening race of the Pixie Cup season who will take home the championship and of course Mattel decides to promote two cruiser mirrors two we have a bunch of new cars diecast and he decides to promote two cruiser mirrors it's Rusty's Cruise and Danica Cruise but yeah you have those two then Jackson Storm and of course Shannon Spokes so yeah that kind of supports my theory that the RSN series is kind of dead at this point but anyways, now I just want to see Cars 3 Bob Cutlass out of the package as soon as possible. So, let's get on to unboxing this car, shall we? Huh, out of the package. I honestly, I'm thinking that he's looking better than when he was in the package. In the package, he kind of looks a little more grayer, but now he looks like he has like a tint of blue onto his gray. Which doesn't look too bad. Let's just hope that me looking at him in depth doesn't change my opinion. So anyways, let's get on to his review. Starting with his front, of course. Just like any other Thailand car, his front along with all of his paint job is very, very glossy and very reflective. He has the same expression as the original uh, Bob Cutlass right here, as you can see. Although, they are kind of different with a little change in the eye color right there. His is more blue in the original version, while here they're kind of a more teal color. And then you see like a little, um, like not eyeshadow, I guess, like kind of like a little line, black line right there under his eyelids. And then of course here is headlights, one on each side. Unfortunately, however, they are kind of ruined by Thailand's grainy decals. He has some nice silver rims on the side right here with black tires, same as the ones from before. Although not exactly right here, they're kind of more open on the newer one than the one from before. On his side here are two new features of his brand new design. As you can see, there's a little yellow checker that spans from the fender all the way to the side door. And then here's the RSN Racing Sports Network logo, which is also on the side of Shannon Spokes right here. I think it's a new Cars 3 thing that they started doing. So I'm guessing that Cars 3 Bob, of course being from Cars 3, decided to tag in along and of course put the RSN logo on his side. Besides that there isn't really too much to his light blue grayish paint job. Of course here is Bob's back and as you can see there is his license plate plain in sight and then it reads R08-26E and it reads new quarry, new gearway. I can't really read it that well. You know Thailand they're blurry decals am I right? But yeah anyways over here, he has some brand new taillights right here. They weren't apparent on the old Bob right here, as you can see. He All he had for a license plate was RSN, and now he has a brand new license plate that's actually yellow, while this one was just white. And then he has two plain taillights, while here he has brand new ones that actually look pretty nice. I don't know. They look kind of cartoonish, comic-y. It looks pretty nice on Bob. Here is two smoke pipes on the back, one on each side. And they kind of resemble the ones from Shannon Spokes right here, as you can see. So I guess that'll be it for Cars 3 Bob Cutlass. Let me just compare him to his Cars 1 counterpart right here. As you can see, they both look very different in their paint jobs. One's kind of light bluish, grayish, and then the other one's just completely black. Because, you know, there are two designs, one in Cars 1 and one in Cars 3. So, comparing them both, honestly, they don't look too bad. I think the Cars 3 one is a bit slimmer to me. And honestly, I do like his design. I do like the effort that Thailand did put into Cars 3 Bob. And the Cars 1 Bob was pretty cool too, but it was kind of bland. It kind of looked like an Autobahn car, honestly. But now with the Cars 3 upgrade, he looks very nice and very vibrant. 
And of course, there's a really nice uh, addition of the nice new license plate right here. And then from the boring old taillights, you go from this, from them to a brand new nice set of taillights right there. As you can see, really nice. I do like Cars 3 Bob a lot, and I thought I was going to dislike him considering how he was in the package. But honestly, he made for really nice cars. So comparing him to Cars 1 Daryl, I don't think it was the Cars 3 variation of Daryl. I think he was just the same. But yeah, here's the whole RSN family. Let me just bring in Chick Hicks right here, even though he's not kind of part of RSN, I guess. He has his own show, but whatever. And then here's Biz Torxon, which I already did a review on. And there you go. We have the whole family here, including... Uh, Corey Turbowitz. I can't really put her in the shot. Uh, I'll just leave her in the back here right now, for now. But anyways, guys, I'm just gonna move. Car uh, Cars 1 Bob. Not Cars 1 Bob. Cars 1 Daryl, my bad. I'm gonna move Cars 1 Daryl right here. So, anyways, guys, that'll be it for this review. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy and stick around to the very end. If you did like this review, please let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions on how you like the Cars 3 Bob Cutlass. This is pretty good. Do you like his new paint job and do you like his new aesthetics? Like the new RSN logo and his new license plate. Honestly, prior to making this video, I thought Bob actually did have a real license plate, not just an RSN license plate from Cars 1, but apparently he didn't, and now he's using his actual license plate that he uses outside of the RSN. He looks very nice alongside the other members of the RSN crew. However, he doesn't look too nice with Daryl since, you know, they're both light-colored cars. It'll get some time to get used to, but I think it'll work out in the end. But anyways, guys, I guess this is it for the review. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Little Herky saying, Ying, peace.